Oh my god. On a dark and stormy night. One car approaches on a lonely snowy road. Lotko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever. Oh, used it got it. changed. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Zako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cap. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Okay, well that's definitely not a place. Doubt it all now. This 
place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Get the heck inside. I'll handle this. anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Make a bed for Alice. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Okay, we checked a gun, why? Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Get you to bed. <laughs> Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you.
This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different. And that made her very sad. Then... She met a robot. Who wasn't very happy either. So they decided to run away together. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Well, this is gonna suck if we don't get a happy ending. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Let the pirates bite. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara. Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No, what are you talking about? Oh, we found out about a good thing we got the gun. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. That creepy. 
She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. There's a lot of really bad stereotypes in this. Just a really, yeah. Be our guest. Reactivate the carousel. I'm on board. The carousel oh, is the about to that. begin. I wonder why he's questioning about Alice. <laughs> Funny chat. You guys and your Last of Us references. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Wow. Hold on. So we we did really well with that. Threaten, push away, fire a warning shot. Regardless, they reveal themselves. The one thing we missed, we missed a couple things in the tavern. But other than that, check all the buildings. Switch on Yvonne. There's one other thing that we could have switched on. Not a bad... Wow, we didn't do that bad, actually. Meanwhile, we're back with everyone's favorite android, Connor, who is closer and closer, sorry, is closer and closer to becoming a deviant. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, shoot. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea.
We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. I don't think we're supposed to push his buttons like that, but that's funny. Is there an option where he shoots you? Yes, there is an option where he shoots you. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? 
Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. This could literally make or break our playthrough. Marcus cleans up nice, though. I bet you he can shave just by snapping his fingers. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Right? What could go wrong? <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, chat. Appreciate it. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Garage, Smart Watch, Elizabeth Wilson, Elizabeth Wilson speaking. That is creepy. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. We have to do everything right here. If we cause any disturbances, I think it screws us for the end. Because the, the end at the end of the day, there's only going to be probably two options. There's going to be a peaceful. There's going to be something peaceful, and there's going to be probably like a like a fight or a war. Forty-seventh floor. That mixa. Which playthrough? Uh, we've. Um. We've screwed up most of everything so far. The only thing we haven't managed to screw up yet, surprisingly, is Kara's. But there's still time, so. Find package in the men's bathroom. But that's the first time he's ever gone into a bed. Screw it up. I don't want to screw up the playthrough. I don't want to screw it up. I literally don't want to screw it up on purpose. That's the thing. Like, I want it to be like a genuine mistake if it happens. You're going for everyone to make it out, but you're making negative decisions. I haven't made decisions on purpose. I have made the wrong decision on accident. A couple of times. Such as almost getting shot by Hank. Um, we got Connor killed in the beginning. Not that it mattered. But, and we've had Amanda messed up with us 
or mad at us two different times now because we haven't solved the crimes. So we're kind of on the, yeah, we're kind of on the, on the crap list. Oh my God, look at us. We never look so good. I am loving this outfit. The blue and the yellow, it's a good, a good little color combo. It's actually a trophy for Connor to die in front of Hank multiple times. Oh my god, of course it is. Why would that not be a trophy? Looks like he should be on a racetrack. I need your help. Yes. And me your identification. Get yourself in trouble. Uh, get yourself deprogrammed, but it's all for a good cause. Don't worry. You, you, your, your memory will live on forever in my memory. I will remember your sacrifice. Push and we will go. We got some. We got some cushion for the pushing. Where the freak are we supposed to go? Oh, how about the door? Probably fire escape. Oh, that's fun. I actually don't know where the fire escape is. My controllers won't connect to the PS5. Head south. Or east. That's fine. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. <laughs> we we bumped the booty. Leave it to me. Let's go place an order. Sure, why? Look at that target right here. You in? Well, hell yeah. Where's my car? Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Time to cut glass. Here to chew bubble gum and cut glass, and we're all out of bubble gum. So we're just gonna cut glass. We That is very bright. Very, very bright. That's actually 
outrageously bright video game. It's a video game, okay? It does not need to be overly bright. Here it comes. My eyeballs are blind. Go through the hole. Time to cut. Man, how much would it suck right now if this broke? Ladies first. I find it hilarious how Marcus didn't get noticed, the fact that he's not using his, he doesn't have the, the little ID thing on him. So like, how did they not clue into that he didn't have the little dot? Oh my God, are we gonna have QTEs? Is there gonna be like something big gonna fall off of here, like an icicle? Yeah, but he's, he's wearing an Android outfit. It's not really helping his cause. Yeah, support the Detroit Lions. They need all the support that you can get. They've sucked for about 30 years. I just angered all of the Detroit Lions fans that might be watching this. Sorry. Actually, they already. Legs, let's go. We go miss. Even though you can retach your limbs, push it real good. You're about as subtle as a cat in a china shop. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. I'm heavily betting your public opinion is that skeptical or worse. Uh, I don't actually know what our public opinion's at, to be honest with you. So far, we haven't done anything bad to the public yet. Like, we haven't committed any crimes, as far as I know. We didn't shoot the security. We didn't shoot anybody. And we didn't kill anyone at the docks. Oh, hi. Let's do Fingerprint this. powder. Just joking. An explode. Well, okay. If we explode things, that's not going to really give us a good example. Well, you're telling me to press start. What? Our flow chart? Yeah, we're skeptical. <laughs> Stop it. I think you're funny, chat. Granted, this is the first time we've had... Uh, like anything major that impacts the that like impacts the public like most of the things haven't like majorly impacted the public besides just killing the dad as Kara but he had it coming let's be honest <laughs> that's my tuna can sorry your tuna can was uh was uh it was kind of bad it was expired it uh gave the runs deal with the guards no killing we can't take any human lives the cause is more important than the lives of two guards what do you want to do marcus wait here sorry north what's that doing here hey no idea. hey buddy you must be lost what are you doing Don't be stupid. I'm not here to shoot you. Actually, I probably shouldn't have drawn the gun, actually, now that I think about it, but I think it was the only option we had. This is going to be interesting. I mean, they're not going to know what hit them. Well, okay. They, they, no, they're not going to know what hit them. They're not going to remember. An android hit them on camera. We didn't think this through.
Mr. Prize, mother... Laundry service. Keep your hands where I can see them. Don't Get do anything up, stupid. Move. Don't shoot them. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. Yeah, I hope we didn't get us all killed either. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes and our rights Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. <laughs> you gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Oh, shoot. Let's go! Sorry, Simon. But Simon said, leave him. So Simon, Simon gets his wish. We better run. We should probably jump. <laughs> this is not a game of Simon says. Well, Simon said. So we do as Simon requests. 
We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. What could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Well, indifferent, so at least they're not skeptical. Simon, we appreciate your support, sir.